Okay, here we're going to look at active forms of hydroponic systems, the basics of those. Oftentimes they require a pump or in some way to move water that might be considered unnatural. Yeah, not necessarily a bad thing, but something that we uh, need to do to make that water move where we want it to so it's efficiently delivered to our plants. Now there's many more options with active hydroponic systems compared to those uh, passive systems because passive systems rely on capillary action in a wick. Here we have an increased amount of options to move these nutrient solutions due to the diverse amount of uh, water pumps that are available that will be scaled in size to fit particular operations to maximize efficiency. There are recirculation pumps, and these are systems in place that will reuse nutrient solution and reduce loss. So it's kind of that recirculation, that kind of recycling of that water. However, if the system is not clean and it includes all parts of the system, disease can spread very fast. So for example, if this one container became infected, we're recircling that water amongst all of these containers, they could all transmit that disease and all become infected and cause the entire area here of production uh, to have a plant disease. Then there are one-way systems, and these often lead to increased costs due to the waste generated. We're kind of pumping the water one way, and that's it. This can also cause an area of soil or water contamination. Uh, keep in mind, this is a lot of times with overhead systems, Many hydroponic systems will reuse some form of recirculation, and this is why cleanliness is so important.